Hi guys, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and I am going to help you through the notes on the basic conversation, the basic three plus. I am in your OneNote, chapter one, page 47. I'm going to remove the table of contents and make the notes big. So here at the basic conversations, you will recall from the video that is in Schoology as a teaching video, what are some of the greetings that we could include in a greetings bubble if we were trying to just name some greetings? Okay, different greetings can start with hola, but then we can also go right to the time of day greetings, okay, which might be buenos dias, buenas Tardes. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? Or bienvenidos. Now, these are just a few to remind us how to greet in a conversation. Hola, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches, ¿qué tal? Bienvenidos. Closings. Okay, let's think of a few of the clo closings that we have learned, just to review. So, closings, we'll start with the ones that are most commonly used. Hasta luego. Hasta pronto. Hasta mañana. Then we could say nos vemos. We can always throw in a cuídate. Cuídate. Then, of course, adios, but it's not a good one, right? We want to use the other ones instead of that one. So, hasta luego, hasta pronto, hasta mañana, nos vemos, cuídate, adios. Don't forget, we do use um, chao, um, just like bye. Okay, Spanish names. If you watch the video, there's a whole section on Spanish names. So, Spanish names for girls generally end in an A. Not all of them, but generally. And boys' names generally end in an O, masculine, feminine. Example, um, Philomena, Diego. Okay, last names. There are four ways that Spanish last names are originally formed. The first one is what they call matriarchal and patriarchal. But we're just going to say that it comes from, I'm going to switch colors, that it comes from your mom and dad's name. So that would be something like um, Diego Velasquez would be Diego, the son of Velasquez. The second way we're going to talk about is geography. So it comes from what was near you or where you lived. Okay, example would be De Soto of the Valley or iglesia, living near a church. The third way would be based on your occupation, such as Juan Zapatero would be like Juan the shoe salesman, Zapatero. And the last one is by your physical or your personality. For example, the last name Delgado means thin. So originally someone in the background was someone thin. Okay, why are we looking at names? Because your name, if you were Spanish, would be your mother's last name and your father's last name put together. So think about what is your mother's maiden name, last name. So for example, my mother's maiden name is McGregor. You would write in your mother's last name. My father's last name. Oh, I'm sorry. I goofed that up. Okay. So my, no, that's, 
my mother's last name, sorry, I'm getting all confused, was Wickham. My father's last name was McGregor. So my name would be, if I were Spanish, Kathleen Elizabeth McGregor Wickham. By me modeling this, you can see that the formula is your first name, your first name, plus your middle name if you have one. A lot of people in Spanish do not. Plus your father's last name, plus your mother's last name. So I'm going to erase mine. And now you should write in yours on your page. Okay, now we're finally down to the basic three of simple conversation. So let's start with the first one. When you meet somebody, first you would use a greeting and then you would come up with what's your name. So the question to ask what's your name, if the person is someone that you would call by their first name, you would say, como te llamas, meaning the person is around your age. Como te llamas? Okay, get rid of the extra eights. I don't know why they're there. I just typed them by accident. Backspace, backspace. Backspace, backspace. This is why you don't have to be careful about where you put your hand. Okay, so the question would be, como te llamas? And to, what you're really asking is, how do you call yourself? Llamar means to call. So to answer, you would say, me llamo. And then insert your name. Me llamo Catalina. Me llamo Jose. Me llamo Joe. Okay, again, you're saying I call myself. You're not saying my name is. I call myself. This is the way to ask what's your name, como te llamas, and answer. Me llamo, and then give your name. So again, this is the question, and this is the answer. So Lila pregunta, morado contestación. Okay, what's your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? How are you feeling? So feeling, we're going to talk about three different general moods right now. So how are you feeling? So we're going to say bien, meaning I'm feeling good. We're going to say mal, for I'm feeling bad. And if you're somewhere in the middle, you're going to say, ah, estoy más o menos. And think back to when we learned addition. This is like saying, I am plus or minus, somewhere in the middle. You can add the word muy, which means very, but you can only add it to these extremes. You can be muy bien, or you could be muy mal, but you cannot be muy más o menos. Okay, so how are you? Let's practice first the pregunta. Okay, the pregunta. So the pregunta is, ¿Cómo estás? You're talking to someone that you're familiar with. ¿Cómo estás? Now you could say, ¿Cómo tú estás? Or, ¿Cómo estás tú? But estás only matches to. So we're going to say, ¿Cómo estás? And to answer, you're going to start with yo. Estoy. And then put in however you're feeling. Yo estoy bien. Yo estoy mal. Yo estoy más o menos. ¿Cómo estás? And then, yo estoy. This is your contestación. So, pregunta, ¿cómo estás? Contestación, yo estoy. And the last one of the big three, where are you from? So, we have some options about where we can say that we're from. So the first one, we've used it before, Los Estados Unidos. Remember, you should not say you are from America because so are the people from Central America and South America. Okay, I'm going to change it. Estados Unidos. You could say I'm from New York, Nueva York, Nueva York, or 
you might just say, Yo soy de Alden, or Yo soy de Alma, Yo soy de Akron, Yo soy de Pembroke. Okay, it could be your town. So again, let's practice first la pregunta, the question, how do you ask someone where they're from? We're going to say, de donde eres. De donde eres tú? De donde eres? And you could add in the two at the end if you wanted to. De donde eres tú? De donde eres? Where are you from? De donde eres? And then the contestación would be, yo soy de, and then you would fill in the place. Yo soy de los Estados Unidos. Yo soy de Nueva York. Yo soy de Alden. One more time. De donde eres? De donde eres tú? Yo soy de los Estados Unidos. Yo soy de Nueva York. Okay, so those are the notes. We're going to do some practice with this in class. So I hope that you can practice the, the basic three. De donde eres? Como estás? And como te llamas? The basic three of simple conversation. Okay, guys. Gracias.